The other day, I showed you a video of a giant brown water snake that I found while I was out herping, and it got quite a bit of attention. Now, one of the most common comments that I got was that that brown water snake looks exactly like a cottonmouth. But we're gonna go over a few differences that can easily distinguish the two right now. Now, a lot of people are intimidated whenever they need to learn how to identify snakes. But I promise you, it's not nearly as hard as you think it is. The first characteristic that I wanna talk about is the eyes. And it's not the thing that you're thinking of. We don't care whether the eyes are slitted or rounded because just like with our eyes, snake eyes will dilate and contract depending on the level of light outside. So snakes who do have a slitted pupil and are venomous can appear to have a rounded pupil in low light situations. When I say eyes, I'm talking about whether or not you can see their eyes from the top. So if you're looking at a snake, generally you are going to be looking down. So it's really easy to use this trick. Water snakes are going to have their eyes visible from the top of their head. And brown water snakes in particular, they look pretty derpy because of it. But with a cotton mouth like this guy, you are not going to see the eyes on top of the head. And that is because they have a very large scale covering the top of their eyes. The next thing is going to be the side of their face. There are two things that we're going to look at with the cotton mouth versus water snake. The first is that cotton mouths have what we call the Zorro mask. So on the side of his face, he has a dark line that is going to go from the eye to the back of his head. Water snakes do not possess a Zorro mask. The next is going to be labial lines. Labial lines are exactly what they say. They are stripes on the lips of a water snake. So if you look at the side of a water snake's face, they are going to have lines going straight up and down. This is a trait that is absent in the cotton mouth. So we have three really easy traits to use with all water snakes and cotton mouths. Now, rules that I want you to stay away from. One, we have already talked about and that is going to be the shape of their eyes. The second is the head shape. Head shape is such a subjective term to so many people because they interpret it differently. But even if we just say triangular versus rounded heads, watch this water snake. As soon as I approach it, it goes into a defensive posture. This defensive posture is whenever he tries to look as big as possible to get me to leave him alone. Part of that is flattening his head out. They have very flexible skulls to swallow their large prey items, and he can actually flatten that head, and it will appear more triangular than any venomous snake that we have in the state. If you do positively identify a cottonmouth, don't freak out. He's not chasing you. He doesn't want to bother you. He wants to go about his merry way and go find some fish, frogs, snakes, turtles, whatever he feels like munching on that day and mind his own business just the same as you should. But until next time, I am That Snake Guy. And if you have any other questions, leave them below and I will try my hardest to get to them.